Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be talking about focus and blur when it comes to HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, so the reason for today's video is because back in the day when I first started learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I had no idea what these two terms meant. So of course, I'm going to be here to answer those two questions. What exactly is focus and blur? So the first question is, what is focus? Well, we can see right here, I've got this fairly straightforward HTML file with a single input field right here to of course enter in my name. So now, if I was to go inside the browser right here and then of course enter my name, for example, I can say Dominic right inside here. Where was the focus in that whole interaction? Well, the focus was when I clicked on the input field right here. As we can see, the actual border of the field got darker and also the text input prompt has appeared on the cursor and of course I can enter in uh, some text. So this right here is input field focus. When I clicked on the input field, we had focus. So now, how do we react to focus using CSS and JavaScript? Well, let's go back inside the text editor right here and have a look at CSS as the first example. So going inside uh, the style tag right up here, if I reference the name input through ID, for example, name input right inside here, I can then say colon focus. And this right here is called a CSS pseudo class. It is the focus pseudo class. So now, whenever this element gains focus, of course, these rules are going to apply. For example, I can say background and make this red. If I save this, go back inside the browser, and then I bring focus to the input field, we can see it turns red right there. So that is how to access, uh, you know, information about when the field is focused using CSS. Now, we can also press the tab key and it's also going to trigger focus, uh, just so you know. So now, how do we access this information using JavaScript? Well, going back inside the text editor, if I open up a new script tag right down here, I can then uh, get a reference to the input field using a new constant. So I can say const uh, name input is equal to document.gets element by ID, then pass through here name input. So now I can simply just say name input dot add event listener and then pass through here focus as my event. So now whenever the element gains focus, it's going to run this function right inside here. So for example, I can just say alert and then I can say, hey, this element has focus. So now saving this right here and going back inside the browser, if I once again bring focus to the input field, we get right here, hey, this element has focus and of course the CSS is also going to work. So that right there is essentially what you need to know about the focus event or just element focus in general. So now what about blur? Well, blur is actually the opposite in a way to focus. So let's go back inside the JavaScript right here and I'm going to change, I'm going to change this focus in the event to be blur instead. So now I can change this to be this element has lost focus just like this. So now saving this and going back inside the browser, we can see upon focusing on the element and then uh, removing focus right here by clicking away, we get, hey, this element has lost focus. So that right there is the blur event. Basically, whenever you remove focus from an input field. And that right there is what you need to know about the focus and blur event in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.